The instinct you can learn just in the street. You just go, you do, you do your things. No one can tell you how to dribble. No one can tell you pass the ball, do this, do this. You just play football. And I think that's the best, best way to learn when you, you're young. Of course, you have to go in the club and have some rules and different uh, advices, but the best way for me is the street to begin. Guys and girls, welcome back to Unisport Web TV, where today I'm inside the Manchester City home dressing room with, of course, the brand new signing of Manchester City. We are Mares. How are you today? All right. All right. Good. So today we're going to talk about a couple of things, some street football, your new football boots. But first, you know, I would like to try something a little bit different with you uh, because, you know, I checked out some of your match highlights. Uh, of you doing some cool skills on matches. I'm gonna show you a few of them and then I'm gonna, you know, ask you why you ended up, you know, making those decisions in those plays. Okay. All right. All right. So obviously that's a, you know, pretty simple move, step over, uh, you know, do you think that in, you know, at the highest level, most of the times, you know, the most simple football skills are the most effective? Yes, I think so. You don't need to be difficult in football, you know. Simple things are the best, at the best areas as well, you know. This, this type of goal is uh, in front of the box, you have to take the decision quick. Simple step over and shoot. All right, so the next one I'm going to show you is not so simple, and I'm pretty sure you have even you know, looked back at this one at home on your own because it's pretty cool. How do you come up with those kind of moves in the heat of the moment? Is it like instincts or yeah, where, where does instinct, it come from? Instinct, instinct. Yeah? I'm a player, uh, you know, instinct player. It's just like, it comes like this. I receive the ball, and my head comes the flip-flop. I do it. Simple. And is there anything about, you know, maybe like giving the fans a show or is it just you having no, fun? Just, uh, yeah, maybe sometimes. I remember we was 3 nil this game, 3 nil. So, but no, it doesn't matter. It's just like, if I feel it, I do it. Obviously, you are very good at one-on-one -on -one going against defenders. What would you say is the secret, you know, for the young players if they want to become great at one-on-one? -on -one? I don't know. I don't know what's the secret, but me, from from young, you know, I was playing outside every day, playing with my friends one v ones, one against five. Who gets the ball? Who dribbles? Everyone and score. The keeper used to shoot the ball. We used to put one keeper and then we was like six or seven, keeper shoot the ball and we had to, we was, uh, everyone was alone, you know. You have to take the ball and dribble everyone and try to score. So I, I learned, I, I learned this, this stuff when I was young from, from my childhood, you know. I also have something else for you, which I'm pretty sure you will recognize. Uh, you can go ahead and open. This is obviously your... Phantom your new phantom and it's needless to say I know you love the boots but what I'm interested in is hearing your opinion on the colorway of this color is, is, is nice I like the color as well yeah. even the texture you know it's very yeah. good is it important in general for you to look good on the pitch with your boots outfit and everything it's not important but it's good you have to look good but it's not important well obviously the you know the phantom is very highly you know, inspired by small-sided football, you know, it's made for the players who are able to maneuver in tight situations. Uh, you already said that, you know, you used to play 
against bigger guys, you know, one against five and so on. But did you play a lot of street football? Of course, well, that was in the street. That was in the street when I was young. We used to play all the time in the street, every day. There's no, because in England or everywhere, I don't see like uh, people playing outside like this. How we used to play, it was too much. Every day outside in front of my room, my apartment, um, uh, outside when there's a grass, uh, everywhere we used to play. In school, when there's like, um, like you know, when you have 10 minutes or 15 minutes free, every time. That was the street football. And I played in the club as well, you know. So you have the, the training in the club of, of Sarcel and you have like the street football. Well, obviously, you know, our young audience, the kids watching, you know, they know you as the super skillful player. You know, are there some specific skills that you learned playing street football that you still use today at the highest level? Yeah, flip-flop, uh, step, everything I do is from the street. I learn in the street. And watching the players uh, on TV. Of course, I used to train when I was very young with my dad, with some trainers. They used to show us some, some drills, some skills. But you, you do it in the street, you know. You do it outside when you're playing with your friends. So that's, that's where you, you learn. And you try to take the stuff and do it, you know. Thank you for your time. Just nothing but you, but just